Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you Drag Thing for Mac OS X. Before I get started, I'd just like to let you know that I'm broadcasting live on Ustream at the timing of this video, so uh, don't forget to click on the link in, in the description to see if I'm live now, or uh, maybe even figure out when I'm live next. So uh, don't forget to check that out. And uh, so now on to the application. And uh, here is what the icon looks like, Drag Thing. And so let's actually look at that now. And this is the application, here it is, and you can... I can move this around wherever I want to. As you can see, I have multiple tabs. And I can actually click and move it around. It'll actually snap to the sides if I want to. So let's go on and look at this app in a little bit more detail with us. So easily, I can go in here, double click on an app, and launch it just like that. And it's really neat because, you know, then I don't ha I can either hide the OS X dock or the dock that's at the bottom right now or, and just use that. And you can stick whatever you want here. So uh, let's basically look at you know what I can do with this. So I'm going to add a new tab to this, and, and in this uh, they call it a column, or excuse me, a layer. So I just added a layer, and as you can see, I don't have too many tabs, so I'm actually going to expand it. Well, first we're going to call it Web Browsers. Or we're just going to call it Web for this video, but uh, first, or um, we're going to actually have to expand it. Let's see if I can, and you can just expand it just like that. So here are all my web browsers down here, so I can just drag them up into this dock here and I can add you know, a website here so now if I want to I can choose any of my web browsers so Google Chrome double click on that here's Chrome or I can double click on my website and launch that just like that and it's just really that easy and simple now let's customize this a little bit so I'm going to hit layer options bring this over here so we can see it and so I can change this to blue or steel, or sky, tin, green, anything like that. I can change it to an icon if I want to, so I can change that to the applications folder icon if I wanted to. I can uh, do all kinds of things. I can draw item names in the background. I can keep your range by, so I can arrange them by something. I can reverse sorting order, you know, there's tons of different stuff I can do. There's literally almost no end to the customization. Let's look at the actual customization of the dock here. So here's the actual um, uh, uh, editing for the dock. So I can change the name of the dock. It's called My Dock. I can name that whatever I want to. And there's just tons of different things I can do. I can change the size of the icons, make them huge, make them tiny. I can change it to whatever I want. I can make sp larger spaces between them. I can, you know, let's see what we've got here. We can show, show the names of top, bottom, left, right of them. Really nice. And my favorite feature is drawers, which is really neat. So I'm going to bring it over here to this corner and uh, show doc, doc as a drawer. And it goes over here, and I'm going to move it to the left here. And so now it's over here to the left, and I'm going to move these icons out of the way so we can see a little bit better. But so here it is over to the left. And actually, that's not a really good example. Let's move it actually somewhere else. Let's move it to the top. Now we got a little bit better of a look at it here. But uh, so basically, I can go up here, and it's not opening up for me. There it goes. But uh, so here it is. I can go up here to it, open it up, choose whatever I want to out of it. Oops, it keeps closing up on me here. But uh, I can easily go to something if I want it. Um, I, I say, you know, like I said, double click on my website, and there it goes. Let's look at some more options I've got here. And if I've got the preferences open, it keeps that open. You can edit how it works with expose and spaces. Like right now, if I've got a few apps open, it totally is ignored by uh, expose and spaces both. Show no spaces. And then my favorite hotkeys, which are actually my second favorite other than drawers. So I got mine set up to option shift D. So I've got option shift D, it's gonna open and close that dock. And, and, and that's really neat if you really, you know, want to get some. If you've got it like over here in the corner, you can hit that and it'll open up. I can use it. Really neat. Actually, let me bring it over here so we can see a bit better what it looks like. Um, and the customizations are endless. You can change these however you want to. The appearance, so I can change the theme if I want to. So I can change it to, uh, say, this theme. Now that's a bit different. Uh, let's see here if I can find my favorite here. This is pretty cool. It's like a box. So I got them in a box here. Really neat looking. And uh, one thing I didn't show is you can move these around if you want to. So I can move this over here if I want to. Move it over here. Move this back if I want to. Move this over here. There's just a million different things you can do. This is just a little bit. It's just a taste 
of what this app can really do and can really do for you. And it's easily, it can teach you just to make a new one. It has a sample drawer if you want to look at that, or a simple one. Four layers, you can make a new one. You can open a doc, open recent docs. You can save them. You can export them, import them. Um, there's so many different things. This this is just a really small piece of what it can do. I really recommend you go checking it out. So let's go figure out where you can find it. For this, I'll actually use my doc to open it up. So we're going to double click on Safari. And there's actually my live chat room. But if I minimize that and go to uh, a brand new Safari window, we go to dragthing.com. So drag thing.com and here's dragthing.com and you can easily download it you get I believe a 30 day free trial check it out and see how really awesome this app is I really can recommend you doing this uh, it's fully uh, Mac OS 10.6 capable 10.5 capable so if you're still running Leopard Snow Leopard and I believe even still 10.4 which would be Tiger so that's uh, really exciting um, so don't forget to do that, and uh, I'll have the link for this in the description. So, so don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.